I haven't been able to sleep for days. Ever since my citizenship has had a question mark next to it, there's no question mark anymore. It's in place in an answer in black and white, courtesy of an email sent by a bureaucrat sitting at his desk on a London afternoon. Anyone who knows my father will be shocked to think of him as anything else than an Aussie. He loves his footy and to this day is still heavily involved in his local country football club at Turners Beach in Tasmania. My dad believed my grandfather renounced his British citizenship years ago, but following the resignation of my former colleague and fellow Tasmanian Stephen Parry, I knew I had to double check. I received confirmation this morning that my grandfather had in fact renounced. This makes my dad a Brit by descent and therefore it makes me one too. It is with great regret to inform the Chamber and my colleagues of my resignation. I've been found to be ineligible by way of dual citizenship. I love my father to death and I do not blame him for this. He's done nothing for which to apologise and he has been my strongest supporter, my loudest cheer squad and my closest adviser. It's not because of him that I'm leaving this place. It's because of him that I'm here in the first place. I've worked hard to be a voice for those who don't have often get much of a voice in this chamber. Veterans fight hard for this country. They shouldn't have to fight their government when they get back. Politicians on both sides of the House talk about helping those on welfare without having ever actually experienced what it's like to choose between spending your welfare payment on either school uniforms and school lunches. The same politicians who spend their days making speeches and writing books about how they support Western civilisation don't do a thing to support pensioners. Voters must look at their options and despair. I'm proud of what I've achieved here. I'm proud my vote secured many funding, more funding for Tasmanian schools. I'm proud to have secured a feasibility study into expanding hydro into Tasmania. I'm proud to have won a fair pay deal for our Australian Defence Force. I'm proud to have been the single vote that torpedo a savage package of welfare cuts. Unlike some in this place, they say they're for the battler. I actually refuse to deliver the budget into surplus by driving struggling families into further poverty. I'm also sad that I didn't get to achieve so much of what I was working to achieve. I couldn't help everyone who needed my help. It's my greatest disappointment in my time here. I don't know what will happen next, personally or politically for me. The government may be tempted to use my abscess as an opportunity. To do so would be a mistake. Because while I may not be here, the Jackie Lambie Network should still be represented, just as those who voted for the Jackie Lambie Network deserve to have their votes represented. That's why I want to let it be known that the position of the Jackie Lambie Network regarding upcoming legislation, the Jackie Lambie Network does not support the government's agenda to strip away the power of workers to stick up for themselves. For that reason, I'm indicating that for pairing purposes, the Jackie Lambie Network's position should be taken to be that of the Leader of the Opposition on legislation relating to industrial relations. <laughs> Amendments to the Fair Work Act and changes to superannuation law and related procedural matters. For pairing purposes for the Jackie Lambie Network's position should be taken to be that of the Leader of the Darren Hinch's Justice Party on legislation relating to the drug testing of welfare recipients and placing those who fail drug tests onto a form of income management other than the cashless welfare car specifically. The Jackie Lambie Network believes that the Medicare levy and the NDIS play an important role in protecting the most vulnerable in our society. The Jackie Lambie Network's pairing position on upcoming legislation and related procedural matters should be taken as that of the Leader of the Australian Greens. The Jackie Lambie's position on the Regional Investment Corporation should be taken as that of the Leader of the Opposition. Regarding changes to the Marriage Act, I have always maintained that the purpose of a plebiscite is to hear what the public wants. And if we don't listen to the public, the whole exercise has been needlessly decisive, painful, expensive and extremely cruel. As such, the pairing position of the Jackie Lambie Network should be taken to be that expressed by the simple majority of Tasmanians as represented in the Postal Survey. Regarding upcoming legislation to introduce a first home super saver scheme, the position of the Jackie Lambie Network for pairing purposes should be taken as that of the Leader of the Government. 
regarding the upcoming Veterans Omnibus Bill and related amendments, the position of the Jackie Lambert Network for pairing purposes should be taken as that of the leader of the Nick Xenophon team. Before I close, I would also like to thank my staff who at many times have been my bloody saving grace, I'll tell you. You've proven yourselves to be loyal. You are wonderful, you are hardworking, and I would never have got this far without you. If you need a reference, make sure you come and see me because I'm gonna give you the best one you've ever had. <laughs> but the truth is that there's so much more I wanted to do here and I hope to get another chance to keep going at it. But the truth is that's not up to me. I don't know what happens next. There's a state election I'm focused on and I'll be helping my team do what they need to do to take the fight to some of the parties that have taken Tasmanians for granted. Beyond that, there'll be more to say, but for now, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be in here. And I tell you, you guys aren't as bad as I all say, although I'll keep telling you that. <laughs> One day I do hope to be here. Actually, one day I don't really care which side it's on, but I do hope to come back. Um, and when I am, I hope my dad's here too, cheering me on like he's always been. My partner in crime. Uh, there'll be no ding next time, but until then, I'll leave it to you. But once again, thank you so much. And it's been an absolute pleasure of representing my country again. Just not this time in uniform. So thank you.